In this video, we're going to take a look at subtracting with integers, specifically negative numbers. Starting with a problem that we're very familiar with, 8 minus 3, we know this answer is 5. However, I want to change the way we look at this subtraction sign. What I want to think about this subtraction sign as being attached to the number that comes with it. In other words, we're going to think about this as a positive 8 and a negative 3 that are added together. One common way you'll hear this referred to is when we see subtraction, we will add the opposite. In other words, we will add, now it's 8 plus, and the opposite of a 3 is a negative 3. And then we can follow our patterns that we've seen before with addition of negative numbers. We know that with 8 and negative 3, different signs, the bigger number keeps the sign. The positive 8 is bigger. And then we subtract the two numbers. 8 minus 3 is 5, and we get the positive 5 answer that we expected from 8 minus 3. We can follow this same pattern with other arrangements of negatives. For example, in this second problem, we've got negative 4 minus 6. So again, what we will do is we will add the opposite. Now it's plus, and instead of 6, we'll change that to a negative 6. Then again, we can follow the same patterns that we've seen with addition of negative numbers. Both numbers are negative, so we keep the negative. We've got 4 negatives here, 6 negatives here. That gives us a total of 10 negatives, adding the numbers together when the signs match. Again, in this third example, when we see the subtraction, we'll change it to add, and then we will take the opposite of the very next number. The opposite of a negative 4 is a positive 4. And now this problem reads 9 plus positive 4. The signs match, so we keep the sign of a positive and add the numbers 9 plus 4 to get 13. Similarly, in this last example, we change the subtraction to add and take the opposite of the next number. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. Now we have a negative and a positive that are added together. With addition, the bigger number keeps the sign. And then we subtract the two numbers to see how many negatives are left. 6 minus 2 is 4. So with subtracting and negative numbers, we'll just simply follow this pattern of adding the opposite. And then we can simply apply those addition rules that we've seen before. 